Hi, I'm Mark from Red5 Audio. Today we're going to have a look at how to use our range of powered PA speakers as full range speakers in place of a guitar amp. Um, this kind of setup has become known as an FRFR setup uh, that's standing for full range flat response speakers where the, the virtues of a full range speaker can be used both to play your, your guitar through and uh, your vocals, backing track uh, or other instruments. Now you might think, well, well why, um, why could a, a regular flat, flat response speaker, if you like, recreate the sounds that you would get from a, a, a very specifically tuned um, guitar amp? You know, uh, we have we all of our favourite guitar amp, uh, all the well-known brands. Um, some of you will prefer a, a tube type uh, amplifier setup, etc. Well, we have through technology been able to recreate all these things through the use of guitar amp and cabinet modelling. Um, so electronically we can produce the sounds of these classic amps and cabinet combinations and just simply send that digital output to a regular PA speaker that will recreate faithfully the digital image that's been created in the modelling uh, effects unit. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at um, using a, a guitar plugged into a modelling um, processor that will create the effect of some classic amps um, and cabinet combinations and feed that through to our PA amp. So that's what we've got in the process. Um, for the demonstration today we're actually using some kit from Line 6, we're using the Line 6 Variax guitar and the Line 6 HD500X. There are quite a number of benefits you can have through using this type of setup in that you can get the benefit of only using one, uh, one speaker on stage. If you just have a small setup, um, it may even be just playing at home or at a house party or you might be playing in a small venue, a bar, a restaurant type thing. And uh, you don't want to have to have a separate PA system for the vocal uh, to your guitar. Um, using this setup, you can put everything through the one speaker. Your vocals, your backing track, and your uh, your lead guitar, rhythm guitar, whatever it is. Um, the other advantage is that using modelling technology, you can switch your electric guitar from sounding like one type of guitar to another type of guitar. You can make it uh, simulate a, an acoustic guitar. And traditionally, if you were to try and put through a, 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 an acoustic guitar, through a regular uh, rock type guitar amp, it's going to sound pretty poor. Using this technology, your simulated acoustic guitar will sound like an acoustic guitar. Uh, it will have the, the rich low notes that you would normally find in a, in a regular guitar amplifier. And finally, if you're playing as part of a large setup, um, and you use this, uh, this single speaker as your monitor speaker. It means that you are really hearing the same as what the, the crowd are going to hear through the PA system because you're playing directly into this speaker and then taking the output, the daisy chain output from the speaker into your large PA system. So you're really hearing the same as them uh, instead of hearing um, what's coming out of your amp and then uh, normally you would have to make up your amp and then take that into, us, into the, the PA system and, and the end result can be quite different. So lots of advantages to using this type of, type of setup. It's not for everyone, but um, for those of you who are interested in using the FR, FR type setup, then uh, this might be a good speaker for you. And at a fraction of the cost of some of the, the more well-known brands that have specifically designed a speaker for this purpose. So we'll let you uh, see the demonstration and you can see what you think. Now some of you will be wondering if our speakers have a true flat response and th the answer is no. And we, we would question, to be honest, whether that really is of a benefit. Uh, if you're in a recording studio, uh, you would benefit from a flat response uh, where the sound is, is not coloured at all and that will help you produce a, a, a a faithful mix of, of what you're trying to record. However, if you're in a, a live setup and you're actually playing live, um, the the taste these days tends to be for a fuller, more bass-driven sound than a 
true flat response speaker may give. So our speakers are a more pleasing, um, desirable sound that would fill uh, a venue. Um, it's the type of sound that you would want to hear when you're in a venue rather than a real flat clinical sound. So if you want, to f uh, if you want, if you really do desire that flat response, um, then you should probably search for a different speaker. Um, but in my experience, the ones that sound best for use as FRFR speakers actually are a little heavier on the bass side so that you get that proper full room filling type of sound from it. Um, and I'll let you judge for yourself uh, when you hear um, you hear what we, what, we, what we play in the demonstration. Okay, so let's put this through its paces. We'll try and do a whole range of different sound effects that would normally need a different uh, type of amp or PA setup. Uh, and we can do it all through the one speaker. So let's start with a pretty standard uh, rhythm rock type sound. Okay, that's pretty standard stuff. Um, I'm now going to go on and use a, a bass octave effect. Now you couldn't normally do this on a normal guitar amp, so let's see how this sounds. I mean, if you listen to that level of bass response, you're just not going to get that from a regular guitar amp. Um, listen to the low E. It's like it's like a regular guitar uh, and a bass guitar at the same time. Now, because of the way a regular guitar amp is set up, um, it doesn't produce the low tones very well. Um, so it really does open up new possibilities um, to do this type of thing, you know. to do an acoustic set. One flick of the switch and I'm into, you know, can you imagine trying to do that through a, a regular uh, amp um, that's all set up for overdrive etc. to some kind of blues type setup. Now the thing with these modeling amps, you're not just restricted to guitar sounds. Um, let's go on to a kind of synth setup. type effect. You can uh, imagine something uh, playing in the background, you need a Hammond organ, you just flick into this effect. Uh, or even an 80s style synthesizer. So that kind of shows you um, 
the, the capabilities um, of this amp to reproduce uh, both both regular guitar sounds and a whole host of other things that um, that modelling type guitar technology opens up for you. Okay, let's see how it looks with a backing track behind us now. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have at the back of the amp here. Um, we have overall volume here uh, at the top. Uh, then we've got uh, an equaliser at the side here. You've got your highs, mids and lows uh, to adjust the various um, levels there for the, the different frequencies. Then at the bottom you've got uh, an overall gain that acts equally on both inputs. Uh, so if your overall level is a bit lower, uh, adjust the gain up to an appropriate level uh, before then using the volume to control the, the output level. I guess you could say the gain is at the preamp stage where the volume is controlling the final output. At the top here we've got a line in. Now in this setup I'm using the output from my uh, guitar uh, modelling uh, board uh, in here. And then the bottom one here is your mic in. I've got a, 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 just a regular dynamic uh, stage mic going in here. In the middle we've got another balanced XLR, XLR output and that's for if you want to daisy chain, if you want to take an output from here and put it up to uh, a PA system, uh, a mixing desk or just another uh, daisy chained speaker. You can just take this directly into a second speaker and daisy chain and make your own PA system that way simply by daisy chaining powered speakers together. Uh, down the bottom you've got your uh, main switch and a voltage selector, you can uh, use it both on 240 volts and uh, 110 volts. So set that obviously before you start. Um, and that's about it really, it's um, quite a simple setup at the back, but quite versatile. Um, enough to have your uh, backing and vocals in separately. Um, but if you should wish to have more control or more inputs, just uh, use this input here um, to uh, to connect a small mixer, a small like a four track mixer, four channel mixer and, uh, and use that to give you more inputs into the single speaker. So now we're going to try and put it all together, we'll have a backing track and we'll have some rhythm guitar on top and then some vocals and we'll, we'll layer it up so you can see each piece coming in. I'll just cue up the backing track. So that's just backing, here's some rhythm. Rock and roll is gonna save us. Rock and roll and there's the way. Rock and roll is more than music. Rock and roll all night and day. Ok, 
Okay, so you can you can see the point there that uh, the single speaker system uh, was able to take all the elements, the, the bass, the mid, the treble, uh, the lead, the vocal, the bass, uh, the rhythm guitar, if you like, all parts, uh, and present it accurately through the single speaker uh, in a mixed down wave, just like you would hear uh, through a, a full PA system. Um, and again, in, in a small venue, you can just use that single speaker to as your main speaker to the crowd if it's like a single room, small bar, restaurant type thing or in a larger venue you can use that single speaker as your personal monitor and then have the output from that speaker into the larger PA system so you're getting an accurate representation uh, through your monitor of what's actually going out to the crowd it's a very versatile system using these speakers as um, what's become known as FRFR speakers full range flat response speakers you're hearing what the crowd's hearing through the PA system. Hope oh, well that made sense. If you've got any questions, you know where to find us at red5audio.com.